YouTube, what's going on boys? We're back for another video. And for today's video, boys, we're gonna be taking a look at another squad builder that I do have for you guys. For this channel, boys, it's gonna be a lot of squad builders, a lot of player reviews, and a couple series from here to there. We'll just see. I kind of do just want to start um every series when next gen is available because the gameplay right now is just kind of annoying and it gets kind of irritating for me so because of that it's just going to be some teams and player reviews from time to time and then streams on the weekends so with that being said boys do subscribe to the channel we're trying to get at least 4k subs by end of the year maybe 5k if that i mean you know if y'all hook it up you know but um leave a like subscribe to all that good stuff and yeah but we're gonna be doing a squad builder boys this is gonna be a really freaking cheap squad builder the main player that you guys have to get in this team is rodrigo right here and the reason why it's a cheap squad builder is low-key just because there's gonna be a whole bunch of market action going on in these next couple of weeks i don't know how the market's gonna react to the next gen that is coming out um because again we haven't seen a next gen game um a next gen fifa game since 2014 if i'm not mistaken so because of that um i just don't know how it's gonna react so just be careful with that. So with that being said, this is going to be a cheap little team. So as I said, we're going to need this Rodrigo card for starters. Um, I still need to grind him out, so I'm probably going to do that during the weekend um, because he does look like a very nice card. And then when Icon objectives or what what is it? Um, when Icon swaps do come out, that is when you're going to need all of these free little players that are available right now. So like the Rodrigo is going to be really good for a team. Um, De La Feo is going to be really, really good for team. Um, Hector Bellerin as well. All these players right here, boys, that are being dropped are just going to be super, super useful for um, everything that's going to be dropped in the future. So with that being said, boys, this is going to be the team that we are going to be looking at. And for honestly, it looks pretty good. Like on paper, it's really good. It's super cheap. And if you don't like some of these players, you could obviously substitute them out. It's going to be 4-2-3-1 in game, boys, with the goalkeeper being... I'm not even going to try to say it. All right. Just put Thomas. All right. We got the boy TV um, as the goalkeeper. Goalkeepers really don't matter unless you get a Ter Stegen or like a Pope or something like that. For me, I just don't think goalkeepers matter in this game because they're all bad. They all either have one good game and then like 20 bad games or 20 good games and one good. I don't know. The goalkeepers just broken. All right. For center backs, I feel like this is a still a really iconic duo and I still think that they're really good. Um, obviously, in the future, they're going to be not as you know sought after not as good but for now they're still really good center backs in Theo Hernandez or Lucas Hernandez I'm sorry I have him in my starting 11 and I still love using this card I don't know what it is about him but he's just so freaking good boys um and then Diego Carlos as well again another freaking stud on defense and I just love this card put a sentinel on him or a shadow whatever you do desire and he's a really good center back um Jesus Navas is the right back just for chemistry reasons he is decent but for me I don't know man I just don't really use him as much he's decent for for all you know for what it's worth but his strength is kind of what lets him down which is why i don't really use him that often but for a decent right back he is available um and then for left back we have one of the meta players that's super cheap right now i got mine for 3.5k so alfonso davies after these lightning rounds boys he's super cheap man like what are we doing um next we do have valverde these are going to be your two cdms in a 4-2-3-1 formation we do have valverde and then uh, Leon Goretzka as well um, two very good CDMs they're really tall which is good but I think Goretzka does feel a bit clunky so just put an engine on him and he'll feel a bit better on the ball um, but in terms of moving and defending I love to um, use Leon Goretzka if you have some more coins go with Joshua Kimmich because he's way better and then with Valverde he's just he's just lights out boys like it is what it is he's really good and i love using him especially his inform man his inform is nasty and then for toliso this is one of the players that you can't substitute off so for me personally i would bring in a striker whatever strike you do have in your club or whatever strike you do enjoy using just because toliso is decent he's a decent card however he's just not really he's just there for chemistry reasons boys so if you do have like a cheap striker like a dumbbell or something um or like an Inaki Williams rule breaker because I know a lot of people did the SPC. Somebody like that, just substitute them in. Um, for the right mid, obviously we're going to go with the Rodrigo card. He has some decent stats. I'm not going to lie, 4 star, 4 star. And then just put a dead eye on him to improve his passing and his shooting. And it's going to be lights out, easy freaking goals, easy assist. His stats already look really good. So with the dead eye, his passing and shooting is going to be increased just to get that shot power and finishing up. Um, and you're going to look really, really solid. And plus he has a flare trait, boys. So yeah he looks really nice and i can't wait to get him um and then obviously usman dembele boys like 
I can't say much about him because you guys already know how he does perform. Um, Usman Dembele is going to be your left mid or striker, whatever you guys do prefer. And then for me, Griezmann is going to be the cam. He could be your striker if you do want to, but I feel like Griezmann is way better as a cam. Um, three star weak foot, four star skill moves. I know three star weak foot is kind of annoying, but as a cam, I feel like he's way better. So just put like a. I don't know, probably like a hunter on him if you want. You could put an engine on him. You could put something to prove his shooting and passing if you want him as a as a cam. But if you want him as a striker, then just put a hunter on him and he still plays really good. And look at all, this is why I love Griezmann, man. The finesse shot trait, flare trait, outside foot shot. All these traits are so useful, boys, and I just love it. Um, but for me, if like when whenever I do build this team, if there's like another market crash or I just don't want to spend too much coins on a team, for me personally, I feel like Timo Werner or Ansu Fati are some really good strikers to put up top. Ansu Fati is my favorite card in this game so far. Um, besides Ronaldo and all them, I really love Ansu Fati and then Timo Werner as well is a good player to get. Um, but I'm gonna make a review on the Suka right here. I don't know how to say his name, but he looks really good. So I might just try this team out with. Um, with this boy right here because he honestly his stats look pretty good man it, it reminds me of like an ian rush so if you want a cheap version of this guy i guess ian rush is kind of that guy but yeah boys this team is going to cost you around 60k by the time we're making this video it might go up it might go down it most likely will go up just because when lightning rounds are out prices usually tend to go a bit low and then they scry they skyrocket up i don't know if i say it like that but then they just slowly start to go up as time does go on because everybody has a whole bunch of coins from um opening packs and stuff i stupidly sold my messi um for 460,000 because normally by this time last year he was really cheap so i thought he was gonna just go down but now he's like at 520,000, and i guess i should have just waited because i lost 40k on that so it, it kind of defeated the purpose of me trading um buying all those players on sunday that i did get in the live stream it kind of just it was just kind of a l all right so you're gonna take some l's when trading and stuff like that but how much is messi going for i know it's kind of off topic boys but i just want to let y'all know uh because i even i lose coins in this freaking market boys. yeah see look five hundred seven thousand coins yeah i lost a whole bunch of come on nah man i lost 40 freaking k man 40k on this damn messy but it's good we kind of did make it back by selling all of the players that we did get but yeah anybody can lose coins but that's irrelevant boys just make sure you do a 4 2 3 1 with this um team you could obviously do whatever you want but 4 2 3 1 is more preferred or 4 4 4 2 is also good formations um i normally put my defense as stay back and then these two as balance um probably just sometimes i put one of them stay back because you you just need that passing option up top so either um goretzka and they both have good stamina too so it doesn't matter who you put so 83 stamina and then 86 stamina which isn't the best but still pretty decent for the amount of coins you're paying for so yeah um custom tactics just put your whole defense on the bottom um just make them stay back and then these two obviously just um what for me it's up to you guys but for me one of them stay up one of them stay back and then for left and right mid obviously stay up and stay in the box stuff like that and then for griezmann as a cam i would just put him as stay forward and then conservative uh what is it interceptions and stuff like that and put him inside the box because you're going to want to cross it a bit you're going to want to triple tap cross do all that good stuff but yeah boys that's gonna be for this video hopefully this was useful to you guys i'm going to keep making some cheap squad builders for you guys because i know a lot of people are going to be getting the game today like black friday and like for christmas and stuff like that so if you guys are interested in more squad builders do let me know give me like a budget of what you guys do want to see i might make it like a 500k team we'll see but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video do leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you on the next one boys Peace out and happy Thanksgiving, little turkeys. I love you. Thank you for 4.2k or 3.2k subs. Y'all are the best, man. Shout out to everybody. I love you. So freaking hard, man. Yeah.